If I would've known if I had picked up on your tone, yeah We wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be laying here Just staring at the wall waiting for you to get up Hi everyone, it's Hannah here and thanks for coming to my channel In today's video I will be showing you guys how I achieved this look on my eyes Using the new Chris and Dominique Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam palette and make sure you wait till the end of the video so you can hear on what i think about the new rustic glam palette by dominique cosmetics hold on hold on hold on before we get into this video make sure you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i do post new videos here every week also make sure to click that notification bell button so you're notified on when the next video goes up make sure to follow me on instagram at the henna ali because i'm really popping on there all right let's just get into this video i already did one of my eyes off camera so before i start the eyeshadow i'm going to go ahead and apply a base i'm going to use mac painterly paint pot this is an oldie but good one and i like to apply this with this morphe e20 brush but any big brush like this this is usually how i like to apply it all over my lid and i like to go in a little bit with extra especially when i know i am using such bright colors on my eyes i like to put a little bit of thicker base. here we go and i don't like to set it just because you do want to have that tacky base then i'm going to quickly put on a piece of tape so I'm gonna go ahead and rip the tape there and I like to stick the tape on at least twice before I put it on my actual skin because skin around our eyes are very delicate so you don't really want to tug on it so I make it to the point where it's not as sticky anymore so to start the look I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here it's in the shade friend and I'm gonna take that on an mm535 brush apply that as the transition shade very lightly and with Dominique Cosmetic Shadows, you really don't need to tap off the excess. You can if you want to, if you are used to using a heavier hand. But I tend to use a really light hand, so I usually don't really tap off the excess unless it's a super, super bright color. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this orange shade right here. It is in the shade Desert Queen. And apply that just a little teeny bit lower than where I applied Fringe. I just make sure I'm applying it where the tape is as well because it's very easy to forget that you are applying shadow there. I'm going to take that brown, the only brown shade in this palette right here, which is in the shade Suede. And I'm going to basically apply that as my crease shade. Not dusting off the excess just because I am going to pack the shadow as well as blend it out as I go. Honestly, the shadow out of this whole palette that I was really excited for was this one right here, Evil Eye. We're going to go in with that next. And I'm going to actually take another Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill brush in JH33. And you're going to definitely have to go back and forth just because you are building a brighter color on such a deep one. Since we did lay down that brown, now you have to kind of pack and blend to make sure it kind of goes over nicely on that brown shade so don't really tap off the axis kind of just use it and look at that that is such a beautiful blue so pretty and then kind of work with it and blend it out as you go now to take that crease color into the more of the inner corner of my eye i'm going to use this morphe m562 brush you should definitely think about getting a brush like this a couple i have quite a few of them they're just so handy they're so small but they're so perfect for just looks like this so i'm going to use that and i'm going to apply this to the inner corner to get that all the way down here and then of course i'm going in with evil eye again to do this and then make sure to just be packing and blending because you want it to be as opaque as possible go in with wanderlust right here now, i will say one thing about dominique cosmetics is foiled metallic shadows you do not need fix plus i'm going to show you right now i'm going to take this morphe times jacqueline hill jh41 brush and i'm just going to take it right there on the brush with no fix plus and i'm going to show you how look at that you don't need any fix plus or anything for these shadows to stand out look at that that is just on its own that's just how beautiful these shadows are look how insanely beautiful that is wow and then i'm gonna just go quickly back in with evil eye on that same jh33 brush and just make sure just kind of going over that blue again just to make sure no color was lost and i'm gonna just make sure to bring it down a little bit more right here 
I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. And yeah, it matched exactly. All right, you guys, so this is how the look turned out. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. This blue that I used, the evil eye shade, is so, so pretty. Came out, and I'm happy with it. But all right, you guys, let's get into what I think about this palette. First off, this right here is a 12 shadow palette. It is the Rustic Glam Palette by Dominique Cosmetics, also known as Kristen Dominique here on YouTube. It does come with 12 shadows, just like her recent palette, the Berries and Cream Palette. This does retail for $44. It is available in Sephora and on DominiqueCosmetics.com. Now, I went ahead and picked mine up in Sephora because I really just wanted to get my hands on it without waiting for shipping and all that. So I went into Sephora and I picked this up. However, online, along with this, she released a collection also with um, brushes. I think they're $12 each, and the total is $49 for all five of the brushes, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But this is the palette. I honestly think that the palette packaging gives me very, like, Mediterranean vibes if I were to go on vacation. Um, the shadows in the palette are definitely a little different than what I was genuinely expect in a summer palette. I do think it is a little bit more on the cool tone side. If, so if you don't really have a liking for cool tone shades, this palette may not be for you. But when I saw that she posted this on the Dominique Cosmetics Instagram, I really, really wanted it. And overall, I, I do have her Berries and Cream and Latte Palette. The Latte Palette has to be my ride or die palette. I travel with it. I always go back to it whenever I'm doing like an everyday eyeshadow look or whatever it may be her metallic formula are so beautiful so pigmented so opaque where you don't need to use fix plus at all to apply those shadows you don't even need to use your finger you can even apply it with the brush which is really really amazing the only palette i didn't buy from her was the lemonade palette and that's because the lemonade palette was the only one that really didn't have the same kind of formulas as her normal shadows do but regardless Dominique Cosmetics has really underrated eyeshadows. I think her eyeshadows are amazing. I think they're really of high quality, very pretty. This is her palette, and I think it's definitely wearable. This palette, you could definitely use a lot of this for transition, crease, over the lid. Even the metallics are really pretty. I think the only shade that you may not use as much is probably the blue if you don't really wear color. But I mean, why not have fun? Even if you're just wearing a warm tone, non-bright eyeshadow, you can always pop the blue on the lower lash line to really give it a bright pop of color. But overall, I think this is a really, really pretty palette. It is $44, so it is a little higher up there. But honestly, the quality of the shadows really make up for the price. And yeah, and I what I really like also is her little sleeve it comes with. So whenever I'm traveling or anything, I know I can just stick it in here and it won't open up or anything like that. I like the sleeve, I keep the sleeve all the time. So overall, I really enjoyed the new Rustic Glam palette by Dominique Cosmetics. So if you're thinking about purchasing it, just know that it is really pretty. The quality of the shadows are amazing. So you are getting bang for your buck. But without further ado, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video if you want to see more tutorials like this also be sure to follow me on instagram because i'm really always on instagram at the henna ali and that's it for this video you guys i will see you in the next one Bye,